just uh, this is uh, only the cover of it. <laughs> years old I gotta say, that is like really, really cool to have. It's fun, like, it's like probably like 100 years old. Yeah. Maybe take them to a rabbit to see if they're kosher or not. I don't know. That'd be really cool. Uh -huh. I believe in a messianic age, not in the one individual Mashiach. I think that uh, when there is world peace, then that'll be the messianic age, and then we can have a. But who will I, be I, that peace? Everyone. No, it has to be brought by one leader, one true leader that will that hasn't will, that will be able. What do you mean? Hasn't hasn't hasn't, he hasn't been revealed yet. There have been we're waiting, we're all waiting. a number of prophets, and they have not succeeded. Even Samuel. Samuel was defeated. Samuel wasn't a Samuel wasn't a Messiah. He was a prophet. Yeah, prophets prophesied about yes. the Messiah, but they themselves were not the Messiah. No, but they're supposed to be leading to the Messiah. Yeah, so they're not going to live forever. They're not going to be the ones who are going to do it. They're going to be the ones to help it. Okay, but it hasn't worked so far. What do you mean? It hasn't come here. We're still working on it. It's, just a, it's a long, long process. It doesn't come after a I few days. I believe in direct action. That, uh, direct action? Well, you can't. The Kulalam takes years. Yeah. More than just years, yeah. thousands of years. That's right. That's what we're doing. Yeah. So, there's no other way. Exactly. Well, direct action is what we believe in. And then that's so, that's so you can't fill that as direct action. Yeah. 
And in Hebrew, that's tikkun olam, same thing as far as I'm concerned. Sure, tikkun olam isn't direct action. Tikkun olam just means repairing the world. Yeah, repairing the world. We're, we're still trying to repair the world. You know what I mean? That's how you do it. You know, it's direct action. You know, it's people have to do it. You know? Direct action, like putting on tefillin and doing kindness, right? That is direct yeah. action. Yeah. So, we're, you know, instead of waiting around. Right, of course. And if, you know, Mashiach comes, you know, fine. But we cannot just wait around. Now, the Zionists, you know, use an argument similar to mine to say that they have to do something even before Mashiach comes. We have to go back to Jerusalem. And they violated, you know, no. the Judaism to do so. Maybe, yeah. Yeah. Right. The way they've done it is, is, is the problem. But the thing is, is that um, I think the, 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 the idea was is that the Jews won't have their own true government until the Messiah comes. We can have our government right here in Montreal. We need national cultural autonomy. We have to have our own government elected, with our own police, and our own schools, and language, and everything else. So that's what Israel tried to do, but Israel in reality doesn't have true power. Because they're still under the UN, they're under the United States, under the EU, they yeah. don't have true power. That's, that's why yeah. it's not necessarily their own government. Because and it's still also being not controlled. a majority of the Jewish people who live there. Right, so that's why it's not, so it's not, so you're allowed to live in Israel, it's not really an issue, it's just that the whole thing is that you're not supposed to have, you're not supposed to have your own government before the side. And we don't have the true government, so we're allowed to live there, we're allowed to do things there. We just don't have a true government, because they're still under many countries. I'm even allowed to live there by the Palestinians. I have a registration number by the Palestinian yeah. Authority. I can even buy property up to 49%, even though I'm known as Jewish. Why not, why not, why not 100? Oh, because like China, they don't want uh, people from the outside taking over control of the economy. Oh, okay. Because they have a strong anti-imperialist uh, ambition. All right. Yeah. I will see you around. Good to see you. Uh, see you okay. The, the film was very, very cool. Yeah. Oh, let me see if I have another. Maybe contact your contact your rabbit and we see if they're kosher or not. Yeah. Oh, here's here's the bag for the pelvis. Oh wow. It says what? It says. Oskaras. Near Shlaim. Remember Jerusalem. <laughs> oh, is that what it says? I didn't know what the first word was. I'm starting to remember my my Hebrew. Let's look it up. And then, uh, oh yeah, and then there's also the tzitzis, my father's tzitzis. Maybe you should put them on. Oh wow, those are nice. Oh yeah, I washed them since. And uh, he does. Impressive, impressive. There's a there's a oriental uh, kippa oh, yeah. that goes uh, okay. oh, yeah, yeah, around. all the way around. Yeah, right, yeah. yeah. And, oh, wow, okay. uh, and uh, you, have, you have a lot of Jewish stuff going on over here. Nice. My really father was, see. you know, like his his father was a chassid, you know. So my father, he was a chassid. He still the payas. He didn't have payas because he he was uh, he had to get a job. Okay, okay, okay. And also, he said we're in Poland or in the United States. In Lublin. Oh, okay. He and the shipments are gonna man. No chance of that. Yes. Um, so he shaved his his beard as well, which he didn't have to do. Yeah. But he shaved his beard because he said he wanted to be more attractive to women. Okay. But. You know, everything else, you know, like he followed, you know, very strict, he was very strict with me. When I was late for Shabbos, you know, then he, he, he got angry with me. He patch. <laughs> he was always angry with me. <laughs> well, I mean, he had a tough life. I mean, he, Oh, yeah, he, my parents, he, they were always his angry. His trauma was crazy. They used to always yell at each other. So one time I figured out a way to stop them. So I looked at them as if I was understanding what they were saying in Polish. And then my mother turns to me and says, do you understand what we're saying? He said yes. And I said yes. <laughs> and then and it stopped. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh well. Okay. Okay, so I'm so wasted, you know, I'm fasting in solidarity on Ramadan. Oh, I've yeah? been fasting three weeks now. I'm getting wasted. You haven't eaten during the day for the past three weeks. Yeah. You're only, you're only eating at night. Yeah. And Feasting at night. And yeah. in solidarity for the... Yeah, for they're the going room. through it, you know, so I do too, yeah. Because I lived with them, you know, and I... I, I so I'm, I'm still living with them. 
and I will be going back after I get my new